I want to welcome you here to this opening for the Patricia Lapoma Craft and Jonathan A. Craft Hall for Social Sciences. This building and this facility really highlights the uh, importance and the remarkable upward trajectory of the social sciences and policy studies at Rice. It is an absolute pleasure for me to finally have the opportunity to welcome you to our new fantastic Brockman Hall for Opera. We are delighted to announce the Welch Institute for Advanced Materials at Rice University. It'll be fueled by a commitment of a hundred million dollars from the Welch Foundation. It's hard to imagine writing the book anywhere else, the support I received. This was a, a wonderful community and environment in which to work on this book and I'm just pleased uh, to, to bring Rice this uh, recognition. When we found out last Sunday that classes were canceled, we asked Caleb, what do you want to do? He said he wanted to stay here and hang out with friends, and then it just transitioned into something bigger. I think what's important, again, is, is what we're trying to do through this, this crisis. And first and foremost, again, we want to protect our students, our staff, and our faculty. Everybody is really rising to the challenge, and that's something um, that uh, I am proud to be a member of the Rice community. The global pandemic really, you know, forced Rice to go through social distancing, just like the rest of the country. We went from having three classes online for credit at the beginning of the semester to having 1,906 classes online for credit on March 23rd when we went fully online. There's a lot of uncertainty about what's going to happen with our commencement address, and all of us are moving off campus. We're not sure if everyone's going to be able to come back. So we really just wanted to have a little mock graduation ceremony Thank y'all for coming to our impromptu Weissowation. Walking through the Sally Port is something you hear about. Um, when you come in, you walk into the Sally Port and you don't walk out until you graduate. So it's really important just like as a Rice student to have that tradition of walking out of the Sally Port together with all the people you walked into the Sally Port with. It seems like the culmination of four years that never really come to completion and like there's levels of grief that we don't get to unpack because uh, things kind of and sooner than you ever think, but these people are amazing and I wasn't even going to walk through the Sally Port today, but I just felt the energy and I knew that I would regret it if I didn't. I'm going to get COVID tested so I can go back to Weiss and finally start moving people in for this semester. The unexpected is just part of it and it's hard to recreate the unexpected off campus. I'm actually a remote student, so I'm spending my freshman year at home, uh, taking all my classes online. My only experience getting out of my house is to come here to do rehearsals for this show. And it's the only thing that, I guess, has gotten me out of the house, and I'm grateful for that. <laughs> it's about reducing population density, allowing us to create spaces where people can safely, physically distance and still have social interaction. The solution we came up with was for tension membrane structures. I'm in Vermont right now. <laughs> so did you just virtually walk through the Sally Port? Yep, someone brought me through. I got the whole experience. I'm just glad they're just giving us the opportunity to just come here, even though we're in a pandemic, so we're socially distanced, and I'm glad that they're supporting all the diversity and the social injustice, and like they're aware of what's going on, and they're addressing it here at the campus. When it comes down to asking questions about how we can improve rice and how we can make rice a more diverse and inclusive space, which is what we all want, and which was originally what the charge of the task force was all about, taking that time to really share in those experiences and listen in those experiences is something that's very necessary. <laughs> It is so exciting to be part of human spaceflight now. I really feel like we're just at the, the brink of truly an explosion in spaceflight. Let me present this, the Mayor Sylvester Turner Early Vote Challenge 2020 winner, Rice University. Thank you so much. It's unfortunate that we're in this situation, but when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. I don't know if it'll go back to normal or what we've defined as normal, Although the pandemic did bring a lot of tragedy, it also brought a lot of opportunity for growth. 
we've identified new ways that we can communicate virtually over multiple different platforms. We've designed more inclusive events. And for that reason, I think we're not going back to normal. We're moving forward.